Let me switch to uh, to your race uh, in Wisconsin for re-election. Uh, you had primaries last week in Wisconsin. Now you know that your opponent will be the Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. I was shocked, you know, reading a little bit about him. He's a socialist. This guy was uh, uh, is supported by Bernie Sanders, endorsed by Bernie Sanders, uh, a self-proclaimed socialist, AOC, and Elizabeth Warren. I mean, this guy is a real socialist. Uh, what, what do you have to say about uh, Lieutenant Governor Barnes? Well, you're right. He's a radical leftist. Uh, and what's interesting, I've, I've actually known who my opponent was a couple of weeks before the election because the power brokers in D.C. chose the candidate for U.S. Senate for Democrats. Uh, completely disrespected the voters. They, they cleared the field, including one, one candidate who spent $12 million of his own money, just all of a sudden uh, quit and endorsed the most radical leftist uh, to, to represent Democrats here in the state. Uh, but you know, this, this is a gentleman that uh, has been a political activist, uh, ran for elected office, uh, won, once, or won once, lost once, uh, became lieutenant governor. I, I'm not sure what qualifications he has to be a U.S. senator. Uh, really hasn't accomplished uh, much of anything in life other than getting elected to office. Uh, that's pitted against somebody like myself who has a lifetime of experience in the private sector, running a manufacturing plant, uh, uh, having and raising a family, and then took that uh, breadth of experience to the United States Senate who has been a pretty effective senator. I, I, I'm the guy who made sure that 95% of American businesses uh, got a tax cut so they could stay competitive with the big guys, survive the pandemic. Uh, my right to try law has saved lives and saving lives today. And my Joseph Project, uh, working with the uh, uh, inner city individuals that have uh, really hit the bottom and want to turn their lives around, uh, my Joseph Project has transformed lives uh, by getting people good paying jobs and showing them the dignity of earning their own success. So I'm, I'm very proud of my record. And it's a very clear choice for Wisconsin. I, somebody who actually loves this country versus somebody who said the founding of America was awful. Uh, a radical left. Uh, this, this, guy, this guy believes in Medicare for all, uh, is totally sold and wants to promote fully the Green New Deal. Uh, he wants to raise taxes. He has publicly said it. Uh, I mean, should he own up that he's a socialist? I mean, to be transparent with Wisconsin voters, just, I mean, Bernie Sanders at least is honest and says, I'm a socialist. Shouldn't this guy do the same? Yes, he should. Of course, he's going to be running away from all the previous statements he's made, you know, supporting all these disastrous policies and an open border, flood of illegal immigrants, uh, a flood of deadly drugs. You know, he supports all the massive deficit of spending that has sparked eight and a half percent inflation. He supported the Green New Deal, which has given us record gasoline prices. He, by the way, authored when he was in the legislature, uh, he authored the bill for low bail, no bail to allow violent criminals out, including uh, let's face it, that's, that's what was the cause of the Waukesha Christmas Parade Massacre. Yeah. That individual is out on low bail, and he supports all this. He wants to abolish ICE. No, he, he holds the most radical positions. They are so out of touch with the vast majority of Wisconsinites, but he, he'll run away from that record. And my problem is the complicit and corrupt media will cover up for him, just like they're covering up for President Biden. But it seems to me that all the policies that he's supporting will impoverish the people of Wisconsin. Uh, it would make life harder for the working class in Wisconsin. It would make healthcare, uh, it would uh, certainly did, uh, uh, worsen the quality of healthcare in Wisconsin, uh, provide less access to good doctors. Uh, uh, in every single respect, it would let, make life harder for the citizens of Wisconsin. Now, socialism has never worked. I, I don't know why anybody would embrace it uh, in, at this point in history. Uh, it, it might produce equality, but it, it produces equal misery. Take a look at the Soviet Union. Take a look at, uh, at uh, Cuba. Take a look at Venezuela. Uh, that's where socialism has taken root, and it has destroyed those countries. It has, it has deprived people of freedom. It's produced totalitarian regimes in, in, that have murdered tens of millions of people. Socialism never has worked and never will work. What works is freedom and a free market system where people compete. Uh, that's what made this country great as well as hardworking people uh, that uh, have faith, that believe in strong families, that believe in, in law enforcement so we have safe and secure communities. That's what works and that's the, all those things 
uh, that I mentioned, Mandela Barnes is basically opposed. And, and let me ask you one uh, last question. Uh, the Democrats are unfairly and unjustly accusing you of wanting to kill Medicare and Social Security, which is totally absurd. When I've seen what you've done throughout the years as a fiscal conservative, what you're trying to do is to ensure that uh, that we maintain uh, Medicare and Social Security strong. You don't want to kill it. You want to preserve it. It is the policies that the Democrats and Mandela Barnes are proposing that would kill Medicare and Social Security. Am I right? Precisely. Since, since I stepped into the public realm, I've wanted to save Social Security and Medicare uh, collectively. Certainly Democrats, so many people in our society are just whistling past the graveyard. They're just ignoring this. If we're going to save Social Security, we have to have an honest discussion about it. And what we primarily need is strong economic growth. And that's, of course, what uh, this administration has not given us. Uh, two quarters of negative growth, of shrinkage of our economy. That's going to be disastrous for the long-term prospects of Social Security. So all I've suggested is let's stop ignoring this problem. Let's take a look at it and let's do everything we can to grow our economy, to create opportunity for everybody so that we have the revenue to solidify and, and save Social Security. Right, right now, Medicare's trust fund is going to run out in 2028. Uh, Social Security's trust fund will run out of, in, in 2035. Uh, that's, that's a blink in the eye. I mean, it, it'll be on us so fast. And the longer we wait to save these programs, uh, the more devastating it's going to be when those trust funds run out. Uh, absolutely. Well, Senator, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Appreciate the opportunity. Have a great day.